Hello everyone and welcome to our new OpenGL project. This is going to be a some sort of math visualizer where we can just essentially take mathematical objects like the one you see in front of you and display it using 3D graphics in C++ using OpenGL. So this is uh, a surface uh, that takes in an X and Y coordinate and then it will output a, a height based on its coordinate. Um, and then we can create surfaces like this um, and this is pretty much one of the many things that we will be doing. So in this video, we'll be looking at all the installation stuff that we need. So we'll be installing a few libraries to actually use OpenGL along with taking a few files from, um, from the OpenGL tutorial project that we already have. So we'll start by creating our project. I'm going to be following the, um, the installation guide that is on the repository, which I will link down below. Uh, but we'll start just by creating our empty C++ project. I am using uh, Visual Studio 19. I think I should update at some point, but um, yeah, we'll need to, uh, I, I will definitely need to update that. All right, so we'll create our project in here and we'll just call it glmathviz, create. And then you can start by setting your mode to x64. That is very important. Um, and uh, so we'll start by looking in the directory that we have in our project. So that's our downloads. All right, so and this is our directory here that I will be looking at our project. And in the, in the solution directory, I'm going to create a new uh, directory called linking. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but I will zoom in there. So there's a linking directory and in the project properties, we need to tell the project to look at that. So we'll go into project properties. Uh, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but if you follow the process online, you will get to it. So we'll go to linker, then input, and for additional dependencies, we first need to add opengl32.lib. So just type in opengl32.lib and then a semicolon, click apply. And then in v c++ directories, in the uh, in the library directories, we're going to add an entry here. It's going to be dollar sign in parentheses solution dir backslash linking backslash lib, and this will be something that we create and hit enter. And then for the include directories, which is above, we'll do something similar. So we'll add an entry solution dir backslash linking backslash include and then semicolon click apply and then we're good there click OK now in our directory we have our linking uh, and then we'll have to go into our project directory now and actually create uh, some stuff to so a few folders to store our files so we'll have source lib and assets so the source directory will be where we put our all of the C++ source files. Lib is just for a few library files that need their own uh, source files. And then assets will be where we put images and shaders and so on. All right, that's all we need for now. And then we can start installing uh, some libraries. So we'll start with glfw, which is pretty much a, the way that um, we can communicate between uh, the com between our code and the actual window and setting up OpenGL in a very clean manner. This is also cross-platform if you have the correct libraries. So go to the link that is in the in the file or in the in, in the instructions and click on your pre-compiled binary. It'll be 64-bit for Windows there. And then when you once you get that, you're gonna want to unzip it. So I've already unzipped all the stuff here. So glfw 3.3.7. And then you want to go into the solution directory, linking. And then we're going to create an include directory in here. So we want to take the glfw include. And we're going to put it in here. So just copy the glfw directory from the include into the other include. OK. And then all the lib files, so it'll be to your corresponding Visual Studio. Uh, so for me, we have to create another directory called lib, and then in here, create a directory called glfw, just so we can organize stuff. 
So for me, it's going to be libvc2019 because I am on Visual Studio 2019. Uh, so we take all three of these static library files, copy them over. And then for the stay in the uh, in the directory corresponding to your Visual Studio version and then go to the project directory. So that is over here. And then just copy and paste the DLL file. So the dynamic linked library. This will be used and recompiled at runtime. And then we need to tell the solution to look at the lib files. So go into project properties again. We're going to go into linker inputs. And for additional dependencies, we're going to just do the path that we have. So glfw backslash glfw3.lib. And we don't need to put the absolute path because we tell um, we tell uh, the solution to look for libraries in linking slash lib. So we can click apply. All right, that's glfw. Now glad is just a, the next library glad is a good is, is a library to help us keep our version straight and we need to load it in so that uh, we can actually set the, the proper macros and make sure that we're using the proper version of OpenGL. Um, so go to the website that is linked in the instructions, make sure language is C++, specification is OpenGL, and then for the API, select GL version 3.3, don't need to do any uh, extensions, and then in the options, make sure that generate a loader is ticked, and then you can click generate. I already have this downloaded, um, but you will find that it gets into a zip, you can click on the zip file to download it, and then you can unzip the zip file, and you get glad, and you have an include and source uh, directory in there. And then we need to take the include directory and put it into our include directory. So linking include, and we'll create. So take the glad and khr uh, directories and just copy them over. And then for the source, you're going to get a, get a glad.c uh, source file. So in our project directory, where we are going to put our source stuff, go into the lib directory, and then just copy over glad.c. So in Visual Studio, we should see... Um, let me just do that. And in our lib here, we should see glad.c, and then make sure to include it in uh, the project actually, and along with the DLL file. And then finally, for GLM, this is the last library. This will be for mathematics stuff, so it has uh, it has vector structures, matrix structures, matrix multiplication, operations like that, and so on. Um, so we'll start with uh, just going to the GitHub page that's linked there, and you click on the most recent version. And then it'll take you to this page and you click on the source code in zip file format and you download that. And this library is unlike the others in the sense that it only contains HPP files. So it's recompiled every time. But you essentially take the GLM and you go into the GLM directory that has all these HPP files. And then you're gonna copy that GLM directory only containing the HPP files to the linking slash include directory. Okay, like so. And then what you should see now, your include directory should now have glad, glfw, glm, and khr. And there are no library files for glm. So if we go ahead and build, everything should be good, but it should give you an unresolved external because there's no main function. Uh, we haven't defined that yet, but we will. Um, and then the last thing is going to be we have to copy a bunch of GL, uh, OpenGL tutorial files. So there are a list of files here uh, that you want to copy over because we will need them. And they can be found in the OpenGL tutorial repository. Uh, I take you through it there. Um, it's just downloading a few uh, files for I.O. and rendering. And the way I did it was I just um, put them in rendering and I.O. directories. And what you can do is in the project directory, you can go into the source file and then just copy rendering and IO so, and put them in there. So rendering 
has material.h, material.cpp, shader.h, shader.cpp, uniform memory, and then vertex memory, and then IO has camera, keyboard, and mouse functions. And you essentially just take those and you copy them in there. And then we'll go and refresh in Visual Studio. So in source, we have IO and rendering, and we just want to include all of these in the project. And then we can go ahead and create our main.cpp file. Include IO stream int main standard C out hello world turn zero and doesn't like that. All right, and we can run it and it'll compile all the files that we added, but it doesn't like this. Ah, yes. Um, so uh, there will be one, there's going to be one error uh, with the shader uh, because we have uh, a static variable that you need to define. So include string uh, and then also include shader. So include rendering slash shader dot h and then we can just define it saying standard string shader default directory is equal to an empty string for now. Um, you can actually just say assets slash shader and it won't matter but if we build we're all good, run it, and we will get hello world put out in the directory. And that's it. So that is all the installation we need for this project. And in the next videos, we will start by creating our window first, and then we will start uh, creating some mathematical objects, um, which will be very fun. And we'll be able to make big use of the geometry shader and we'll get we'll delve into the actual pipeline process that go that the GPU undergoes to actually render all your vertices and this is going to be a very uh, it's going to be a good learning experience for me it has already been uh, with the little code that I've written but it's going to be uh, very fun to experiment with um, so yeah I hope you guys uh, are excited for this and I will see you guys in the next video have a good one